Skeletal muscle is a type of muscle found in the human body that is responsible for voluntary movement, for movements such as walking, running, riding a bicycle, swimming, and so forth. Now, there are three different types of skeletal muscles as we'll see in just a moment. And although all these different types of skeletal muscle have their differences, they are all controlled by the somatic nervous system and they all consist of the, the same type of general structure. Now, what exactly are these muscles? What are their differences and similarities? And what is their function? So let's begin with type one skeletal muscle, also known Known as slow oxidative or slow twitch muscle. Now slow simply means the breakdown rate of ATP is slow. So these types of muscles break down ATP very slowly and that means the contraction speed of these muscles, the velocity at which these muscles contract is low. So these muscles basically contract relatively slowly. Now the oxidative portion of slow oxidative simply means they use oxygen to basically form ATP and that means the pathway of ATP production is aerobic so they use not only glycolysis but these also use the Krebs cycle and the electron transport chain to actually produce our ATP now because they have a lot of oxygen that means they have a high concentration of myoglobin because myoglobin is the protein carrier that actually carries that oxygen in our muscle tissue so that means we have a high amount of myoglobin and these muscles appear red and that's exactly why these are also known as red muscles now, how exactly does oxygen actually get to our slow oxidative muscle? Well, it's carried by the blood. And that means because these muscles have a lot of oxygen, they also have many capillaries that actually carry the oxygen to those particular muscles. Now, because these have a low contraction speed and because they break down ATP slowly, they also have a high amount of triglycerides. And they have a high amount of triglycerides means our major source of fuel, our major source of ATP is our fatty acids. So these muscles use predominantly triglycerides to break down the fatty acids in, a, in aerobic respiration into ATP. So that also means that they have a low fatigue rate. That means we can use them for hours and hours before they actually uh, run out of that fuel source. So we can continually use our fats as our major storage fuel to form ATP. And that's exactly why these are the muscles that are used when we carry out very long activities such as running a marathon. So if we're running a marathon, Marathon, that basically means we have to use muscles that will not fatigue very quickly and that's why we use the type 1 muscles. Now these are the muscles that also have a relatively low diameter so the thickness is low and that's exactly why the force that is produced by these muscles is also low. So when we're running a marathon, we don't actually have to exert a very strong force. We exert a very low force over a very long distance so that our muscles don't fatigue very quickly. So these are the muscles that are used in that case. What about our type 2A muscles known as fast oxidative or fast twitch muscles? So fast simply means the breakdown of ATP is quick. So we break down ATP very quickly and that means the muscle contraction is high. Now just like slow oxidative, fast oxidative also uses aerobic respiration. And that means it also contains a high supply of oxygen. It also contains a lot of myoglobin. So these muscles also appear red, but they also appear pink. So that means 
the amount of myoglobin is lower in fast oxidative than in slow oxidative. Now the major supply of fuel is not fatty acids but it's glycogen. So the polymer version of sugar where we break down glycogen into glucose and then the glucose goes into the process of glycolysis then into the Krebs cycle and onto the electron transport chain. So these also contain many mitochondria and many capillaries. Now uh, it also uses a type of molecule known as creatine phosphate. Creatine phosphate itself is not actually used directly as an energy source. We use creatine phosphate to pass down the phosphate group onto ADP to form our ATP. Now the thickness of our muscle fiber for fast oxidative is higher than the thickness in our slow oxidative and so these produce a slightly higher force than in the case of the slow oxidative. So we have a low diameter of muscle fiber in this case and a medium in this case. So that's why we produce a higher force. Now if these muscles can last us hours, these muscles basically last us minutes. So these are the muscles that are used in long distance events such as running a marathon. These are used in middle distance events such as for example running a 400 meter distance run. And these are the muscles, so type 2B or fast glycolytic are used in sprint events. So for example, if we're diving or sprinting, let's say 100 meters or swimming 50 meters, these are the muscles that are basically used. So let's discuss the fast glycolytic. So fast simply means these also have a fast contraction speed and that's because they break down ATP quickly. Now unlike these two muscles, these muscles basically do not use oxygen. So that means we have a low concentration of oxygen so we do not have too many capillaries and we use anaerobic respiration. That means we only use glycolysis to form our ATP and we also use creatine phosphate. So these have a large diameter that means they produce the greatest contractile for force out of all these three muscles and these basically fatigue very quickly so that means when we're sprinting and that requires let's say 10 seconds these are the muscles that we're going to use. So because we don't have too many capillaries we don't have too much oxygen that means we don't have too many myoglobin carrier proteins and so these muscles will appear white. So these are known as the white muscles but these two muscles are known as the red muscles because these have a fast contractile rate that means these two are known as fast twitch muscles but this which has a low contraction speed this is known as a slow twitch muscle. So once again these are the muscles that are found predominantly in the back and the legs because these muscles are the muscles that are have a low fatigue rate. They can be used to basically support our body to give it posture. Now these are the muscles that are used in middle distance events. For example if we're running let's say 400 or 800 meters these are the muscles that we're going to use. These are the muscles that are used when we basically need to exert a very large force. For example when we're lifting a very heavy weight and that only requires several seconds these are the muscles that we're going to use predominantly. So we have three different types of muscles. We have slow oxidative type 1, fast oxidative type 2A and fast and fast glycolytic type 2B. And these basically have many different similarities but they're all a skeletal muscle and that means they're controlled by the somatic nervous system and they all have the same type of contraction and they have the same type of structure. They're all composed of sarcomere units.